Okay, y'all. I apologize. <laughs> I had to delete and pull that video because um, it was the wrong video. It pulled the wrong video. It did the weekend walk around again. And um, Rayanne, she's like, she's like, it's the Wewa again. And I was like, I was like, well, I did talk about the same stuff because I did. So I wasn't, I was confused what she was talking about. And I apologize for that. And I apologize that it's the wrong video, y'all. Um, so I'm going to upload the proper one now. And for those of you guys that watched the Wewa again, I'm so sorry. Um, I scheduled it to pull it and my phone decided it was going to do an update. So I don't know if that's what happened or um, because it was supposed to be where I took the, um, the Orangus uh, Luteola off of the mount and stuff. And like I said, it's a little of this and a little of that. So I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry and I apologize. I hope y'all forgive me. <laughs> and so here will be the proper video, I promise. So thanks y'all. <laughs> Bye for now. y'all it's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids welcome back to my channel I want to welcome back all my old subscribers and my new subscribers and uh, as per usual you know new subscribers kind of slow down a little bit um, so you know that happens from time to time so um, but really I mean I want to thank all my new subscribers I still do get some here and there and I appreciate each and every one of y'all I really do um, it's Friday <laughs> uh, we need to talk a little bit um, as you know I'm thankful that my husband got day shift um, I am I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled, um, but that has, um, it's caused quite a change in my life and, um, the way I was doing things. Um, you know, when, when, you know, like when my husband's working night shift like that, um, it left me alone a lot in the day because when he would come home, he would sleep throughout the day. So, and I was sleeping through the night, so it was just a lot of, um, you know, a lot of lonely time, kind of. So, you know, it gave me plenty of time to do this, to do orchids. So, you know, now that he's on day shift, he's back to being a human being and not a zombie. <laughs> so, uh, on his three days off... Uh, it's a whole different world now. Um, we do a lot more things. We do things like we used to do. Um, we're always together and we do everything together. And, you know, so it doesn't leave me on those three days. It doesn't leave me much time for these. I am lucky I can get up in time to get them, you know, get my mounts watered and, and such. And then we're off doing whatever we're doing. So... And uh, a couple of nights I came in, I couldn't even, I was just so like worn out that I had to, couldn't even put my Vandas to soak. Um, and I'm like, well, once or once in a while here and there, it's not going to hurt them none, especially until I adjust because it's been quite an adjustment for me as well. But, um, you know, so things, things with my channel, we're going to take a little bit of a hit here and there. Um, I'm going to try to work things around. I'm going to have to change my watering days. So, sadly, I'm going to change my watering days probably to Friday, Saturday instead of Monday, Tuesday because, um, you know, he's off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, those three days are just like nonstop, you know, for things for us to do. 
Uh, and of course, you know, to um, it's not just so much that as it, as you know, like you know, we've had to cut grass now. So, you know, we've got all these things that are coming into play with, you know, everything being, um, you know, uh, upkeep of, of spring and, and the grass is growing fast. And, you know, we've had so much rain and things and couldn't get out there and cut it. So this time it was kind of high. So we had to cut it a couple of times. Um, just kind of, you know those kind of things, but, um, you know, so, so just things are going to kind of change around on my channel just a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to record, you know, quite a bit on days that, you know, um, I'm here, you know, during the day by myself doing my things. And, um, but, you know, I know I always do weekend walk around on Saturday. So I'm trying to think, that the uh, only way I'm possibly going to be able to do that, especially if I'm watering on a Saturday, there's absolutely no way that I can water and do weekend walk around on Saturday. It's impossible. Um, weekend walk around, like you would be amazed to know how, um, you would be amazed to know how much time it actually takes to do that walk around, uh, edit it you know, download it, then upload it to YouTube. I mean, it, it's, it's a real whole process. It really is. Um, so, you know, I found a whole new appreciation for actually for people that do YouTube videos. So let's just put it that way. Uh, because, you know, I mean, in the beginning, like I said, you know, I had lots of time. Um, like I said, you know, I was sleeping during the night. My husband's sleeping during the day. So, I just could do, I could do any of this at any given point, you know, sometimes I was in here at seven, eight o'clock at night doing it, you know, videoing and, um, you know, uh, now I can't do that. Now at seven, eight o'clock, I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> I'm getting everything shut down, getting the vandas put to soak and, you know, I'm going to bed. So it's just been kind of a, kind of a change of everything. So, but I just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys a little bit today while I'm talking. So, some videos are going to be like, you know, previously recorded kind of things. So, that's the only way that I feel that I can, you know, do any kind of justice to the channel. But, um, today, what we're going to do, we're doing some more like bits and bobs and things. Uh, some things that I really, sorry, I bumped the phone. Things I really should have been doing all along, but, you know, have just not been able to get done. This is that, um, Arangus luteola that, um, I got from Orchids by the Lake. And Yoshi just sent me another one, but I'm, I'm going to try to save this one. I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to let it just, you know, uh, die off. I can't do that. That's not me. Um, I'm going to try to do what I can do to save it. And if that means taking it off of the mount now and uh, dealing with it, that's what we're going to do. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, like I said, I was really kind of amazed that his was potted, that the last one that he sent me. And I'm like, hmm, that's probably not a bad idea to get her to straighten back around, really. But honestly, I need to get some hydration back into this plant. So, and no, actually, some of the roots are dead. So, let's see what we got here. So, sadly enough, yes, quite a few roots died. Some of these, though, that was mainly right here on it, um... They are still alive. I think that is, um, I forgot what that is. It's moss. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up. Anything that is not alive. Snippity, snippity, snippity. And we'll see if we can't bring some life back into this plant hopefully fingers crossed 
like I said, since it was actually losing hydration and, and looking really wrinkled, I was afraid that the roots were gone. So I was definitely going to take it off of the mount and see what we couldn't do. And like I said, I haven't been feeding this one. I've just been watering it. That's all I've been doing. But most of the roots are pretty well gone. So I don't know. Like I said, I and two, I'm new to Orangus. I'm, I'm new to these guys. These are not... You know, I've never really had these kinds in my uh, care before, so learning about them is all new to me. Uh, that was why I even asked some people that, you know, dealt with these plants before, uh, before I even sprayed it with anything for bugs, because, you know, you just don't know. You know, if it's not something that you're used to working with, you don't know. So it's best to, best to get a hold of somebody who does. And that's why, you know, the orchid community is so great because, you know, so many people are so willing to talk to you and answer your questions. And it's just amazing. Just amazing. So. All right, you guys. Hang on for one second. Uh, I'm going to... I'm actually going to put on my lighted glasses and take a better, really closer look at these roots and clean them the rest of the way up, and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back, and there is the finished product. I need to get some better light over here. I can't believe the, with the light coming in through the window that it's not any better lighting than it is over here and I apologize um, but there's the finished product and I didn't realize it but the um, if you look the rhizome comes out flat so I think I'm gonna pot her I think that is I'm gonna I've decided you know if it I'm gonna keep an eye on her for a couple of days make sure that you know this is not too much for it um, to be potted and I have seen coconut husk really pull plants back around especially in this situation so I took some of my smaller um, coconut husk pieces and some charcoal and some perlite because I wanted to stay moist but I don't want to drown the plant you know so this is my thinking <laughs> I don't know my thinking gets me in trouble sometimes but this is my hope for bringing this plant back around so like I said I have seen uh, coconut husk fiber or coconut husks uh, mixture like this I've seen it actually you know really rehydrate a plant very nicely um, so my fingers are crossed that it does the same for this poor little guy so I think if we can get it hydrated I think it will come back around so and basically for now the most this plant's going to get is water but I am going to give it a little bit of cow mag um, just to help a little cow mag and seaweed just to kind of see if I can't bring it back around um, you know it's it's really it's kind of in a bad place right now and I probably should have done this sooner that's another thing that you know upsets me about it is is I just have not had the time or the chance to get it done sooner now I'm using the pointy end of my stick so I'm being very careful um, like I said, it's a, it's a, you know, I am so thrilled that I've got my husband back, you know, so you guys, please don't, don't get it wrong that, you know, I'm like, oh, I got to deal with my husband now. It is not at all that way. I am super excited that, you know, I got my husband back. Super excited. Um, you know, it just, um, it's been really great since he's back on day shift. Um, I can't can't explain to you how happy I am about that um, <clears throat> you know we've always had a great relationship we've always um, you know always enjoyed doing everything together we you know we just get along so great 
and um, you know we enjoy spending time with each other and doing things together so that is back and I'm thrilled um, like I said just work a night shift unless you've actually really done it um, you know you just do not realize how horrid it is it is really um, I used to work it when I was a nurse um, I used to work it on uh, for about three years and like I honestly have a hard time recalling much of that three-year period because I was just so out of it um, it's just not a natural shift to work it really isn't so there we go uh, I'm gonna keep a really close eye on her for the next uh, well for ever till she till I see that she starts turning back around um, I've got her in a lot less light now too because I do not want her to you know uh, get bombarded with you know highlight and demands so I guess from here y'all we will see what happens um, I will put a tag on her so that we know um, which actually where did her tag is still on the thing um, I'm gonna keep the mount because if she goes back if she gets you know doing good or anything I'll put her back on the mount um, if I can get her turned around but I do want to keep track of maybe I'll just write it on this side of the pot uh, I don't even remember what today is so that'll just have to wait <laughs> oh I know this is Friday I almost thought my husband oversleep too today um, <laughs> I felt so bad I just rushed over shut the alarm clock off and I went back to sleep I was so tired uh, I was like I was up a little later than I should have been he had already went to bed and I was still trying to get things done and uh, <laughs> shut that alarm clock off bigger than nothing I did I said it was a good thing that he had his set back because um, at 530 but uh, still it made him late he was about 10 minutes late for work because <laughs> because I messed up but now I'm debating as well with this guy as you can see we got another bloom coming oh I just love this plant this is uh, Epa, I don't know, it's got a huge name, Brassio Epidendrum Green Dragon, this is uh, Epa Magnolia crossed with uh, Brassavilla nodosa. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite plants, this is, I love this Green Dragon, she is just a phenomenal beauty, she, every time, as you can see as her rhizome comes across, she's definitely a bloomer now, so she keeps, um, she keeps putting blooms out for me which is awesome uh, this one here was a new growth as well so I kind of think maybe she might be gonna go this way too but this one did not put up a bloom spike as of yet so but reason being is is I want to change her is is because look at this crap creeping crud <laughs> this crap creeping crud here I don't like it this is actually um, synthic so it's not actually moss but it is so covered in algae that I'm aggravated with it so I don't know what to do with it and I'm iffy about doing it at all because she's in bud so I'm debating and I'm thinking I might just I hate to do it but I might just go ahead and wait because I do not want to blast that bud again I really don't so I guess you guys we're gonna hold off on this one a little bit um, I, I love this plant, so I really want to see her bloom again. So, so you'll just have to wait till another day, my dear. Um, but I do have a, uh, another little tidbit of good news for y'all. Um, my, which I'm not going to deal with this as of yet either, but my, um, little cat Leia, my mini cat that I was worried about um, <clears throat> the uh, come on Paula think of the name um 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 <laughs> now isn't that awful I'm looking right at the other half of it too the uh, Lelia Petite Grace that I cut in half I cut I kept half and kept the front half and this was the back half and I was afraid it wasn't going to do nothing. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> so just that quickly, 
But guess what? Cha bow bow. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, right by my thumb. So those two one eye on this one and one eye on that one. Yay! I'm gonna get this one to go a separate way so it's not gonna be a one row rhizome. So she done good. And I'm glad, you know, like I, I really I honestly felt this one would do okay. Like I said, my other one has really struggled. I don't know if I can find that one really quick and show y'all. <clears throat> it's the one I always talk about that um, does struggle for me. Yeah, actually right here she is. Um, this one I bought at the same time. And this is... Um, get that out of there. Actually, she had a root stuck to it, which is a good thing. Uh, this is actually uh, SLC Angel's Fire and uh, this is um, this is Angel's Fire and a, a, a cross with L. Alori, Lelia Alori Jewel Blush. Now, one time and one time only this plant bloomed for me when I first got it and I've had such an issue with this plant ever since. Um, it was mounted, uh, well, I, f I first one after I got it, I mounted it and I potted the other one. This second little piece here has just always been a fizzle. This one's actually separate. But as you see, I mean, it keeps trying. It really just, like, there's got a growth coming out there. But this, like I said, this piece is separate. This piece over here seems to be trying to come back. It's got this new growth, this new growth. Um, but you see the growths are small and they are, they're not getting as big as they were. So this part, I mean, it still seems like it's struggling to me. And I don't know why. I don't know what the issue is. It didn't do well on a mount, so I pulled it off a mount and I put it back in a pot. And of course I put it in a um, coconut husk fiber mix. Um, it was in, I've had it in everything. I've had it in uh, bark mix. I've had it in, you know, now cocoa husk. So I keep trying various things, but like I said, this part here, I should probably just pull it out and um, it's really not doing anything. It really doesn't have roots. And see, that's why I said I was always afraid to chop that one because this plant, it, it makes me nervous. Um, this plant was just as healthy as that one. Uh, like I said, I have one picture of the bloom if I could ever find it and I wish this plant would straighten up. I love the color of the bloom. It's actually a watermelon color. It's like a coral, beautiful color. Um, and I've often looked for this one um, time and again because I'm like, I'll buy a replacement plant. That's how much I like this plant. Um, but I still keep trying with it. Uh, and I'm still trying. Uh, like I said, she's definitely putting out some roots. Um, this part seems to be doing okay, but like I said, these, you can see it's struggling. These ones here are what it has done over the past few years, and it is not getting back to its potential, and I don't know why. I do not understand what the issue is, so, but, and I've been trying to keep her out of bright light, because I had her in pretty bright light, and, uh, that didn't do so well. I kind of burnt her a little bit, but yeah so fingers crossed that you know these growths will be a little bit bigger and do a little bit better and hopefully she's on her way amending here so but like i said then we got this little piece here this is all dead all of this is dead uh uh depleted so i really don't think it's going to do anything there's not anything left of this plant on this side any reserves so but as you see too though i mean that was a decent size um i think there was actually one more here one two three four i mean it was like a four division so that plant always worries me when i divide a small um mini catlea so, but I guess that is it for right now, y'all. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing some more things. We're going to be doing some potting. Uh, I'm still going to, still got lots of orchid plants to pot up. Um, 
I'm getting some bark coming in and you know away we go so get ready you guys there's gonna be lots more coming so with that said I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now till we meet again y'all